זה הרד דוט. קורה? אה, אוקיי, סאווה. ליד ג'ליה ג'וסה, קריבו ניסן האוטומוביל קפה, אין כמה קוואידה, אמיו גאי, אדאקה. And uh, first of all, uh, I have a lot of stories to say. I have a lot, a lot, a lot. And actually, this is kind of the original set of Automobile Cafe. Kitu sina hapa ni kikombea chai tu. So, uh, where do I start? So, in January this year, kwanza before ni endea pwache ni ungele kitu moja, I want to shout out one guy called Kibunja. Uh, Kibunja Bonze, you came through for this project and we are happy for you and Asante Sana for uh, uh, giving us this uh, good engine. What a tuone vile itaendelea. Tusikusifu sana sa hii. Alafu leta tuanze kilio hapa. But generally, thank you for the engine. And also, I also want to uh, give a shout out to a very, very important uh, follower of ours and a great friend. And it was Kenito Fitness. Kenito Fitness has been one guy mwenye ametufuta manze from scratch and this guy tulimto kwa wakabi kwa wakabi but he's been a very very good uh, f- uh, uh, follower of our content and manze kenito fitness thank you for staying with us this far so uh, let me go back to what has brought us here so today we are actually here to talk about a very very interesting project na hii project ni a swap that happened without our preparation and this swap was from an Impreza GC3 to a Legacy. Uh, Najoi kitu naweza kuwa bit surprising to most of you. But uh, have you ever got yourself in a situation where you're doing a project, hauko umepangia, and basically it's here and you have to do it. So, hiyo ndio kitu nilipata na hivi ndio kulianza. Ali this year in January, manze katika pilka pilka yangu ya kuwa pale Facebook Marketplace. I saw this very pretty vehicle. But by then my interest was not to buy an Impreza. I was just perusing as usual. My usual peruse pale afternoon ama jioni nimetoka job nimetulia tu na angalia angalia vitu. And I came across this Impreza that was quite unique in a way but it was being sold for one, for 350,000 shillings. So I didn't have that money and to be honest I was not interested in it. So mimi nika nilia tu peruse peruse vitu zangu. Na kama kawaida since I'm a very good um, member pale Uh, Facebook marketplace two weeks down the line I saw the same same car being sold for 200,000 shillings and with an impact with 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 with, with a frontal impact na area shock imevunjika so it got me surprised uh, this was a car just two weeks ago in use a cure in complete and mind you it was an european spec impreza uh, which is actually often rare within the kenyan market so mimi ni nani i went ahead checked it out and uh, decided you know what let me salvage this let me save this and see how it will go so mimi huyo i uh, got in touch with the owner I'm the guy who was selling it and actually i came to realize later that we're in the same group with him which is called cars and chrome so i decided to uh, get in touch with this guy the guy jinake ni makumi and makumi is actually a neighbor where i live so uh, we went to makumi to the police station where the car was we checked out the car And we actually noticed this car would be a very good basis to just use as a daily drive so we decided to buy it to use as a daily drive and later probably flip it and sell it if we get a buyer so sisi ni kina nani so we bought an impreza uh hii impreza tumejipanga kununua bado eh uh, impreza tulikuwa na motive ya kuitumia for long not really but we wanted to see what it will do so I'm a good Subaru fan, I'm a GC fan uh, 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 to be precise. So tukanunua gari, we tukaibeba. Actually let's the clip ndio yatachapa hivi. Tukaibeba na since it's a two wheel tuliifanya tu towing ile ya kawaida na uh, ile inenuliongo mguu juu alafu nini nyuma tukaipeleka kwa garage. Mind you by the time we buying this car it was not mobile in any way. So that means the risk was so high Uh, but we couldn't uh, kama kawaida being a physicist sometimes is it too much too much and it is very funny the risk was too too much we still bought the car but uh, by the time we were malizering this deal from 200000 we parted ways at 190 where did the 10k go this car had an old logbook and makumi had told me that he had already started the process of making in, it into a new logbook so instead of getting his name on the paper he will do uh, the transact the transfer but get my name on the paper so we went ahead and uh, 
completed the deal at 190 um, i still owe him 10 g's and he still owe me papers up and pale but uh, i'm sure tamaliza you very soon so uh, at 190 to catch kwa gari uh, first things first was to make sure the car is mobile and it can move from where i took it uh, for prep, for preps in the first garage to my main garage penye mimi waenda uko yakiwe so the car ikaguzo guzo hapa na pale and uh, yeah uh, ikafika pale to next to the songa so we moved the car from the garage close to where i live to the one that i usually go ile yakiwe so yakiwe uh, being a car that we wanted to flip and maybe daily use as we as we get a buyer for it we did a few things here and there we repaired the bonnet we were the sorry the bumper we did repairs kwa mgu and generally got the car moving and moving comfortably so we decided to use the vehicle after the car started moving we actually noticed it's fuel economical remember this subaru was a five gear uh manual transmission uh, subaru with a 1.6 liter engine very basic car a car that you could easily use from one point to another So si tukacheza nayo so tukakunga tukienda na gari tunaenda na gari tunaenda na gari but do you know what after a short time ama basically like a month ivi something happened that was a bit crucial and i, I think we're talking about 4 5 months after we bought the car so a month later after daily driving this vehicle all of a sudden pale kwa timing chain kulikuwa gana cracks zilitokea after ile crash yake you know never change the timing chain <laughs> pale kwa timing chain it's as if either the timing chain ilikula mshipi ama the car had an issue ya kukula mshipi regularly so one of these fine days tunaendesha tu gari kawaida and the car stalls this car was perfect haikuwa na shida mingi actually by the time it's stalling we are we are selling the car and there's a clip uh, that you can actually check it out uh, within the channel so we are now selling the car gari ndio imeamua ku stall na hii gari ki stall client amekuja akaiona and is willing to pay but unfortunately the belt goes off so i tell the i call the client and tell him niaje you saw the car yesterday but unfortunately i may not be able to sell the car to you because abcd has happened so what happened we decided decided to postpone the sale so kama kawaida mimi on my end i thought maybe this would be just an easy fix and i'll not lie to you subarus and their valves they can be an headache so mini kaamua niaje let me do the repair call the client i did the repair call the client client aku show up but it's okay si lazima tungemuzia gari remember at the end of the day atuko hapa kukono watu we are here to just do legit business so we we repair the car and uh, we decide to use it uh, as we also look for another client probably I, i'm sure now the profit is and as it but again we have to keep using the car because after all it's the smallest unit that yenye tuko nayo yenye kunywa mafuta sana so si nani we decided to take a trip to kisi my wife and i tukapanda hizo milima zetu tukapanda hizo milima and those who've done this narok uh, my my route uh, narok kisi route they know very well milima ni kibao and let me not lie to you kwanza igari tukiopa duka moja before it even go to narok ai ilipanda lakini the idling was a very was very rough ili sumbo sumbo hapo kidogo but after we did duka moja it didn't chemka so the car was perfect after hapo it drived very well but do you know what guys shortly shortly after we left kisi the car was off shida ni gani ile ile tu ilikata mshipi mara ya pili after one week basically we did a repair the car went off that was one week down the line so It was very disappointing. Actually for some moment I felt like I needed to sell the car. So what I did, I posted the car online and uh, gave it like a week as I think about it. It happens regularly to people who do projects and they can tell you out there. Inafika gapa hali unachoka. Unajele kuchoka literally. Juu gari hakuna kitu jaifanyia shafts mpya, umeipatia uh, all these um uh, upgrades and zinahitajika and you make you've made sure that the car is functional so good to an extent that uh we made from 14 uh, 12 kilometers per liter to 14 added to 15 kilometers per liter and all of a sudden it just fails on you so we just decided juu gari imekuwa a good one in a way but good one in quotes you see for long what to one of the letners do uh so katika hali yangu ya sira 
si nimeweka online na post na tunauza so guys come kuna offers za 200k kuna offers some very very funny funny offers and these offers more often than not zinapata nga most subaru cars uh when a subaru has stolen uh, in under bay ina kuanga valueless because people know the repair behind it is not a joke so yeah we decided uh now uh wacha tuone vile tunaweza mshai gari after all uh maybe since uh, it's a manual uh, vehicle that in yako around in that side hapa na pale and uh, we maybe get a buyer for it so mimi ni nani <laughs> nimekaka tu hivi uh, in one of these groups nikaona a very 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 <laughs> very interesting deal so in the meantime uh we decided to buy it and this deal was a very simple deal the deal was simple and uh, very economical to any car enthusiast you'd probably fall for it and kibunja the guy we just shouted out in this episode decided to sell us an engine which he was chopping from a legacy for only 40000 shillings guess what came with the engine the engine the transmission and its computer uh, with a wiring harness both the wiring harness yenye kwa kwa nini kwa manifold na ile ingine. Uh, ijentoa kwa manifold kwenda kwa comp. Yeah, so engine on a normal day, engine ya kawaida ya ya ya, ya, ya legacy inacheza ng around 100 120000 shillings ama ikienda sana 150. Uh, transmission yake automatic inakuja ng around 40 to 70000 depending on what legacy you're talking about. Aya, ukiingia kwa computer na wiring harness hapo uwezi kosa kuacha kama 50 or 70000 ikienda chini sana tuseme 20 30 so we anguka nayo and let me tell you tulienda tukachukua hiyo engine tukakuja tukaiweka pale westlands ikakaa for some time and during this period we are here trying to think should we continue with this project or just use this engine for another project but uh, again after some time we did uh, some soul, soul searching kidogo kidogo hapa na pale and we decided you know what kaende kaende to chap a project moja legit and now uh, in our next episode you'll be able to see what actually transpired in this project and basically you'll take part by viewing by seeing this project uh hapa na pale so asanteni sana thank you for a very very good interesting episode and we humble guys uh keep subscribing keep watching keep sharing guys and um, let me just say this before we leave Uh, automobile cafe we are here to inspire you not only turbo vehicles can be good vehicles even natural aspirated vehicles can be good vehicles besides the turbo chase or basically the turbo hype is just here for a short period and this happened in the 80s we are back to the 80s so history jirudia but generally we are here to inspire you, to inspire you in any way both from the turbo side of things and the na side of things so kama kawaida for those who have been asking mbona tumekuwa tukipotea to rushi content hapa na pale as we earlier said we were here ama basically we came up with this automotive channel to just inspire you that anything can move so we didn't want to generally we are happy that you guys are making sure that all these cars work asante sana subscribe uh, like comment share tukutane next episode to jue what exactly transpired ciao